Hi, I'm here at Assateague Island and I'm viewing the wild horses. Be sure to stay tuned because I happen to capture video of so many horses today roaming on the island. I'm also going to take you kayaking in the marsh. We're going to spot some beautiful birds today and we're going to explore the trails here. You do not want to miss this video. Assateague Island is an amazing place. So right now I'm heading over the bridge to enter Assateague Island. Um, if you're not familiar with Assateague, it's located in Maryland. It's a really short day trip from the Delaware beaches or the Ocean City, Maryland beaches. If you plan to enter the National Seashore area, be aware that it's a $25 fee to enter the park. Um, I've got our America the Beautiful Pass, so my entry is covered by that today. Right now, I'm hiking the Life of the Forest Trail. Um, two of the trails here in Assateague are these boardwalk style trails to protect um, fragile plants and keep your feet dry from this marshy environment. As you can see, the horses rule here. Um, everywhere you walk on Assateague, you have to look out for their droppings. They just can go wherever they want and leave their mess wherever they want. So um, watch where you step when you're hiking here. Right from this elevated boardwalk trail, I was able to look over and see some horses um, out in the marsh area. It's a bit of a windy and overcast day, but the views are still stunning here. Looking out from this elevated boardwalk over the marsh, there's birds everywhere, seeing the plant life and the trees and the horses and the water. It's just such a beautiful place to explore. As I was leaving the trail and heading back to my car, this deer was just on the side of the road grazing on some grass. And then uh, while driving, I happened to come across another group of wild horses. It's funny because when you think of wild horses, you think of them just like roaming free on this island. But it's funny, sometimes they tend to congregate like this is near a parking lot with a bunch of cars. Um, so they're just kind of near a parking lot right now eating the grass. And it, it's kind of funny to me that that's where they're picking to gather right now. So we're gonna walk up here and check out the beach. Asati has miles of beaches. Um, if you have a permit and the right type of vehicle, they even have beaches that you can drive your vehicle onto. So that's an option. Um, all along the beach area, there are some campsites that you can rent that are kind of like set back in the dune line. So now I've driven to the old ferry landing section of the park. And this is where I'm going to launch my Tuk Tuk folding kayak to explore the marsh. There are so many birds out in this marsh. Um, so many egrets out here. They're like everywhere. It's unbelievable. So now we're done kayaking and we're going to hike the life of the marsh trail. So this is another one of those boardwalk trails. So if you're with somebody that has some mobility challenges or you're pushing like a baby stroller, these trails are perfect. Anybody can enjoy them, which is really great. This trail has had lots of beautiful birds hanging out in the marsh. 
Also, when I look over to the side, I spotted these horses off in the distance. After hiking, I spotted another little deer out here enjoying the grass. And then I also stopped to look at the wild horses again. They go to there to get away from the bugs. Oh, it's cooler and in there. Hey guys, if you could just back up towards me if they come through. So at this point, I've just driven off the island and I'm stopping here at the Assateague Island Visitor Center. This is a great visitor center. They've got some educational displays. You can get your passport stamp. They have a gift shop, restrooms. But we're here because we're gonna do a hike that's actually right near the visitor center. We're gonna hike to Ratcliffe House, which is a 1740 uh, historic home that overlooks um, the bay here. This was definitely my favorite section of this hike, going through this really cool tree tunnel, just the way the trees were bent over. It was really unusual. So at this point you leave the forest and it turns into a little bit of a walk on a gravel road and you've got a golf course off to your left. All right, so we've made it to Ratcliffe House, this historic home area. So like I mentioned, this house was built in the 1740s by Captain Ratcliffe um, and he was one of the earliest English immigrants to the Maryland seaside area. The home is open on certain days for tours. It wasn't open when I visited. So I was just able to walk around and look at the outside of the house, check out the different buildings, and look at the colonial garden. Thank you so much for watching our video. Our family really appreciates the support you give to our channel. I hope this video inspires you to make a visit to Assateague Island. It is such an incredible place and I really enjoyed spending the day here.